Good morning. Today is the final day, the leaving day of RTR. I want to share quickly some things that I liked and disliked about my experience at the RTR. First thing I liked, the community. What a fantastic group of people, like-minded people, uh, just very carefree, uh, caring, and just, just really good people out here. Very trustworthy people, uh, very happy people. The second thing I liked about the RTR was to meet people face to face, um, which is kind of the reason why I got a little bit behind on videos out here, which is also kind of the reason why I um, didn't do <laughs> everything I wanted to do as far as tours and uh, meeting up with certain people and stuff like that. I did put my GPS coordinates, so I had a lot of people coming in and out, and thank you to every single person who did come out to meet me. I think I was able to meet 90 something percent of the people who came to my location. Um, I still need to meet, well, still need to meet up with Bob, show him the bus, and a couple other people missed me as well. Another reason I liked the RTR was to meet all walks of life out here in different types of rig. Uh, rigs, you don't have to have a school bus or a van or an RV, a car. Everybody's free to do it their own way, and that's really important is to do it in whatever way that makes, you, makes sense for you. Something else I really liked about the RTR was to meet people who watch my videos. I really appreciate uh, Mel and Diane who stopped by and uh, gave me a gift, and as well as Jackie. That was very kind, and as well as... Um, a viewer who came by with a truckload of wood who drove 100 miles away from over by Kingman, Arizona. So thank you so much. It was incredible to show up somewhere with so much, I don't know, graciousness, kindness, generosity. Um, and, and that's how I, I try to treat people in my life, my friends. So I feel like I've made all these friends and I haven't even met you guys yet. So that was really special. Something I didn't like about the RTR was how spread out it was, and I almost felt like I put myself it kind of in um, a hole <laughs> over here, or, or like a little location, because I wanted to be available to pe two people coming by to, to, to say hello and everything, and so it was things were very spread out, um, which is also a good thing because the popularity of off-grid living, uh, getting rid of your apartment. Um, and uh, you know, retiring on the road uh, is, is growing, it's alive and healthy, and it seems like people are just going bananas for this lifestyle, which is really cool. It's gonna help everyone. I think that was really my only complaint was just how spread out it was, but again, <laughs> it's actually, it's good because a lot of people are into it. Um, just some things to note, we are out here in the desert. Um, I don't understand why everyone loves quartzite. Um, the weather is nice, but the town is kind of doesn't really have a lot. It's kind of a small little town. Uh, there's a couple of really small grocery stores, and uh, I didn't really like the grocery stores. And I went to Blythe um, a couple times to a Albertsons, which was actually not too far away, 20 miles away. So I, I, I'm starting to realize that maybe people just kind of rotate from BLM spot to BLM spot out here, which in that case makes perfect sense because that's what you legally have to do. Although, Nobody's really keeping track, especially right now. The federal government shut down. I don't think anybody at the BLM office is even working. Even the NASA uh, social media uh, shut down. Something else I liked about the RTR was the fact that people were searching for these videos like crazy on the internet. And that's probably thanks to people like Bob and uh, Nomadic Fanatic and the other large channels which have promoted this event to, to its size. I, I guess when it first started years ago, it was on the other side of town and there was like 20 people who showed up. So that's pretty cool to see that this is growing <laughs> so much as it is. And not really like a dislike, but maybe a suggestion for next year is to have, um, I don't know, maybe some kind of a map. Although, how would you do that? Maybe a place where... I know there's a, since it's such a big event and so many people, I felt that there were almost like subgroups of people who wanted to link up. Um, 
so I know that the, there's uh, ran into a couple of people who are in more active and wanted to meet, you know, mountain bikers and things like that. But I, I think if you had a mountain bike and you rode around, for example, you could spot someone else with a mountain bike, maybe strike up conversation. Uh, so perhaps that's a suggestion. So anyways, those are a few things that I liked and uh, almost all likes, just I think one dislike or just one kind of, uh, uh, you know, hump in the road, if you will. Um, okay, so also something I did here at this event is that I tried to be at this location as much as possible and I tried to meet people face to face and have uh, meaningful conversations. Um, it's very hard for me to respond to every comment uh, in, in this video with a meaningful response. Um, and so it's very important to me personally that if someone comes up to me, I want them to feel welcome, uh, that they are validated, that they are, um, you know, a part of the group. Um, you know, and, and of course, I showed my appreciation for people as best I could. And so it's. Um, I feel like my videos weren't as good as they could have been, but it was also a learning lesson for basically two weeks of socializing and, and being around people and, and stuff like that. And um, perhaps next time, you know, once it's uh, after sunset, it's edit time for me. And um, yeah, maybe park in different locations uh, so that if someone didn't see like an update, you know, GPS, um, they would see me driving around or something like that. The, the bus is, you can't mess it out here. <laughs> so anyways, on that note, uh, I'm going to head about an hour or so north back up to Havasu. Um, uh, I did mention this before. I'm uh, trading interview videos with my friend Bus Life Adventure. He's making me a, a custom website, and I'm making him exclusive uh, uh, content, meaning um, I'm making interviews for him that aren't going to be on my channel uh, as a trade. So... Um, I need to go meet up with Steampunk Steve again because I forgot to ask him certain questions. <laughs> and that's just what happens when you're just inundated with stuff and you're just kind of, yeah, for, I was a little forgetful. Um, and I know there's a couple more buses up there too. Jeremy's didn't come out so well. Uh, Jeremy Veach, if you guys were asking about the white and yellow bus, uh, that, didn't, uh, that didn't turn out because I was using uh, a road mic and the audio was just completely ruined. So on that note, yeah, we're heading out of town right now. Guys, meet meet Greg. I'm gonna I'm gonna start calling him Birdman from now on. Yeah. Birdman flies in any weather. Hey, always a pleasure. Hi. Hi. I never did get back over there. You were filming when I was I stopped by. Yeah. I'm sure it's that's how it goes. It is, but it was yeah. good to see you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. supplied <laughs> and uh, these are a new favorite little snack here I feel like they have less sodium than a regular tortilla chip they're slightly I don't know more corny flavorful and uh, a little bit uh, thicker and um, also they come in a, a baked version which is super low in fat but I like the flavor of these better, and they're a little bit higher. So, also, if you didn't know, Home Depot has a phenomenal return policy. I, I brought in this old uh, tool set I had. I think it was about two years old. One of the ratchets stopped working. I got a brand new set. Also, to be a little bit more organized with my, like, wire snaps, like butt snaps, and a bunch of, like, uh, odds and ends I got a little organizer and this thing was only like 15 bucks or 16 bucks so that's pretty awesome and then of course you know I stocked up with the usual bananas apples water stuff like that is this <laughs> Ricky and Brandon right there Lynn's right here yo Lynn 
Hey, hey dude. Hi. Come here. Hey, tell me your channel real quick. Do what? What's your channel? Destination Uncertain. Destination Uncertain. I forgot. I think I, for, I forgot to mention him. By the way, he, he he's a really nice guy. He's been over at Jamie's Van Bill party and the uh, RTR. Uh, Bricks of Happiness on Instagram is right there. They have a really cool bus. Uh, I'm gonna do an interview, exclusive interview, interview for my friend's channel. Um, and then of course everybody knows Steampunk Steve right there. So that's that's the main reason I came was to catch these guys and uh, yeah, do a couple of interviews. So it looks like uh, uh, you know familiar faces over here. How funny is that? <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Check out the sunset. Oh man. This is a good one. So, just for reference, if anybody was watching me while I was in the Havasu region before, I'm kind of in between Lake Havasu and the 40 freeway, which is just 10 or 15 miles that way. Town is, I don't know, five miles that way or 10 miles that way. So, uh, and this is a BLM uh, Bureau of Land Management campground, or I should say, yeah, like camp, camping area, dispersed camping is what they call it. Basically pack in, pack out. If you bring your trash, you take it out. If you poop here, you take it out, all that fun stuff. <laughs> I was uh, filling up in Quartzsite earlier before I got here to Havasu. And um, I was chatting with this uh, this guy and a, a blue car pulled up uh, behind me, which uh, I thought was uh, just wanting to uh, you know, fill up with gasoline. Really nice kid. Uh, it like waved or whatever and I was just thinking it was like I don't know looking to fill up the tank and then as I left I noticed he passed me so uh, if that was you and you wanted to meet me I'm really sorry I thought uh, you just wanted to pull in and, and grab some gas if anybody sees me out and about I'm super friendly so holler at me say my name um, and yeah let me know that um, you want to like say hi or something or chit chat and I'll be totally happy to happy to you know, pull over or stop what I'm doing and, um, you know, chit chat and all that stuff. So sorry, dude. Uh, a little misunderstanding. I felt bad. I was like, oh man, hope you like, wasn't like bummed out. I would never want anybody to, to feel bummed out, you know? So, um, yeah.